Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. Today we're looking at the week of October the 2nd through to October the 8th. Before we do anything, I wanted to tell you that uh, for next week, unfortunately, there won't be a video because I will be in Germany for a few days where I have absolutely zero time to actually film a video or, or upload it. But the week after, we will be back with a brand new video. But let's just look at the overall energy for the week uh, of the 2nd of October to the 8th. Just see what's going on. Last week was much lighter than the weeks before, um, and I hope that this trend continues. Um, this week we have the Hunter's Moon in Aries on October the 5th, um, which actually should make energies lighter. But um, let's see what the guys have to say about this. Actually, the, the cards I have are actually the Great Spirit and the Totem. So in short, what will happen is this will be a week of reconciliation. A lot of things that have happened between uh, you and your family, uh, us and our families, or, or people that you consider family, can probably be resolved. Um, what I'm getting in the city is that there's um, time to let things go. It doesn't necessarily mean that things can be really fixed. But people probably accept apologies they never got, will move on from, 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 from old family pain that doesn't serve them anymore, that, that kind of thing. And indeed, um, family members that are probably estranged will find a way to actually speak to one another. That's the overall energy with the, um, with the focus being on, on family and, re uh, and on reconciliation. Okay, so that's just the overall energy and now we're going into the, the star signs. Our first star sign of the week will be Libra. So let's have a look at Libra. See what's happening. You have the horse and the punter. Um, what that really means is um, to be as um, detached as possible this week and uh, do not hide your inner truth. Speak your truth this week, it is really, really important. And remember how majestic you are. So should conversations come your way, remember the, the overall energy, uh, or the overall, um, well, the overall topic, so to speak, for this week really is reconciliation. And even though may, a family was mentioned in the overall energy, uh, it doesn't necessarily, um, it's not restricted to just family. But what they're saying to you is if you are, um, remembering to be detached from things and um, stay out of drama that's another important thing you will be fine but it's also very important for you to make sure that you're not hiding your true feelings and that you're not too cautious when you seek conversations um, speak your truth at all times and and have conversations um, accordingly um, there's nothing here that um, is heavy energetically speaking. So this is not going to be a difficult week for you, but um, you have the horse, which also is known for running free and uh, having having conversations um, about things that no longer work for you or that have upset you will actually um, set you free. So it's quite important this week to be proactive to get, to get stuff sorted. Right, so that's Libra going into Scorpio. I'm going to choose another deck. Oops, and the card falls out, it wants to be red. So, Scorpio, um, you need to be a little bit patient with your fellow uh, uh, people that are around you. Um, but you have also, you have the, the, the Canada Goose and the Hummingbird. And uh, in combination, what that really means is that um, you need to be, um, you need to allow people to uh, open up, if that makes sense. That, that might take some, some time before uh, um, a good uh, conversation can be had. Um, but um, you will get through a lot of stuff this week, but it has, all has to be done verbally. Um, so this is a week where, um, where conversations as such about um, things that actually mean something are really, really important. Um, and that's Scorpio going into Sagittarius now. Get back to the other deck. So 
Vegetarian people this week are quite protected. Um, um, not much will be happening to you, and your week actually should be should be um, the most important thing this week is to actually, which is quite different to the other star signs, uh, to actually not engage in drama. Um, if conversations come to you or you find you seek conversations, do this as best as possible. But if they are not fruitful, when you feel people are not opening up, um, let it go. It's quite important not to be in drama at all this week and be rather, um, rather calm and uh, don't be chased during the day sort of, sort of thing. Um, it's, it's, it's quite important this week to, um, to be with you, if that makes sense. You know, stay, stay in your strength, stay in your energy. Um, that, that's, that's, the, that's the really important thing. And remember that you have um, protection. And also, this is a good week to um, shed some skin, let, let go of stuff that doesn't work for you any, any longer. And then uh, reflect on um, what you are left with. And if there's anything that probably needs... Um, Replacing is the wrong word, but sometimes when you let stuff go, you have a little bit of a void. And sometimes it's quite important to actually sit with that void and not fill it immediately. So should this be a week where you find that you have to let people go, um, don't manifest the same type, for instance, and don't go out and try to replace people. Sometimes it's quite healthy to have a little bit of time off um, to do these kind of things. Right? So that was um, Sagittarius. Yeah, so okay. <laughs> Going into Capricorn now. Okay. For Capricorns, I really can't tell you if this week is going to be difficult or not because you have the elephant and the crocodile. And in, um, in law, um, elephants remember everything, so you will be um, you will be confronted with lots of old memories this week, and you have the crocodile, which is actually revered because it can take up to twelve of its young in the part of its mouth and bring it to safety. And what that means in combination is when you are being uh, confronted with old memories that are probably painful, um, you need to understand that um, you are perfect. Uh, the way you are and you are just fine you don't have to prove anything to anybody you don't have to change at all but you need to really accept yourself for who you truly are remember you cannot control how people see you and what they think of you is really none of your business because you can't control it um, so this is a week to um, to promise yourself to um, uh, release uh, old, old, old memories, old pain that no longer serve you, and then come to the acceptance that this probably all needed to be done right now because you deserve more from life than being burdened by things that that, that are that were happening in the past. So that was Capricorn going into Aquarius now, drawn to a different deck. For Aquarius this week, it's really important, um, and I think we had this uh, not too long ago in another week for, for Aquarius, uh, that, there are, that there are people out there in your life who really misunderstand you, just don't get the essence of you, just don't understand who you truly are. And you will meet, very likely, people this week of that caliber who really don't quite understand, maybe question why you live your life in a certain way. Um, Trouble is, it's not their place. They have absolutely no right to, to question you how you live your life because this is your life. Um, and you have the, 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 bold, the bold eagle here, which um, sees things coming, which means to you, when, when you have conversations with people that are just negative or, uh, or, or downright nasty, or just uh, inquisitive um, without really being interested in what you have to say, um, you will actually see these people coming. And what you shouldn't be doing then when you know who they are um, and what they're capable of is to engage with them in these games that they're playing because they're, they're quite pointless and fruitless. So uh, in, in other words, what is important for you this week is to um, um, assess and observe people 
that you with and uh, and assess and observe if it makes sense to have conversations with with certain people at all right there was Aquarius going into Pisces and I'm drawn to a different deck I like the sound of that. I'm, I'm, I'm Pisces. I like the sound of that. We, we have the spirit of love and the dancer of inspiration. So um, that doesn't necessarily mean that we all fall heads over, head over heels in love with someone, but why not? Right? But the idea is you have the spirit of love and the dance of inspiration. And what it really means is that this should be a, law, should, this should be a week where, where you do anything and everything from the heart. It's really, really important. Um, we have heard this before, a lot of star signs are, are heart people and they are uh, very emotional and, and, and wear their heart on the sleeve. Um, the Pisces can afford it this week. It's important, you make much more sense when you speak from the heart um, because it is um, more truthful than the logic version that, that, that you present at, the time, uh, present at times. And then you have the dance of inspiration. When you say things from the heart this week, or we say things from the heart this week, and speak our truth from the heart, even if it's painful, speak the truth from the heart. Um, new inspiration for what to do with um, that newfound uh, emotion that we carry more in the open uh, will, will come to us. Um, it also stands to reason, when, when I look at the energy here, that um, people will find it refreshing uh, when you speak your truth from, from a heart point of view, even though it might sound illogical to some people. right? And I leave it at that because I'm not getting much more other than getting excited. <laughs> right, there was Pisces going into Aries now. Okay. You have the Spirit of Truth and the Hunter of Strengths. These cards are from a deck called the Shaman's Oracle. And they are symbolism cards. Um, with very little uh, words on them, they're usually the depictions. And the spirit of truth means that, that you need to be absolutely truthful this week. If anyone asks you a question, answer it truthfully. Don't think, oh, I don't want to hurt people if I say it differently. You know, sometimes when, you, when you're trying to be kind and then, you know, it's just make, make that as a picture. If someone says to you, you know, does this blue uh, uh, dress suit me? Rather than saying like no, it doesn't. You know, you would probably say um, the green one is nicer. It goes with your eyes or something like this. <laughs> you know. But the point is that you would that you express it the way you feel it, without being harmful. But you have to be truthful. What you shouldn't be doing. I, I obviously, address was just an example. What you shouldn't be doing is to um, to not state how you feel about the topic that is presented to you. It's quite important. You have the hunter of strengths, which means you will not find it easy at times to um, fully speak your truth. And it's probably the wrong, the wrong term, speaking your truth. It's, it's more like um, say things directly. It's probably not so easy at times because you might fear uh, or feel that you can, can offend people. And reality is um, you could, but then you're just stating uh, what you feel about, about something. If you said to someone that you don't like that dress, for instance, um, you know, if they like the dress, what does it matter? If, if that makes sense. So, so you, it probably says more about them than it says about you when you answer the question truthfully and then they get really hurt, if that makes sense. So obviously, because you have the spirit of truth, um, you have, and, and truth is a very high energy, so obviously you need to be uh, able to speak um, from a non-judgmental point of view, non-harmful point of view. All these things are quite important for the, for the Aries this week. Right? And now we're moving into Taurus. And I'm drawn to a different deck. Everybody is coming up again, this time for the Taurus. You have Totem, which is overall for family or tribe. You have the Cow and you have the Swan. These are quite profound cards, if that makes sense, because um, reconciliation is the overall energy this week. 
and your family card, your totem card, your tribe card, which means all the people that are dear to you is in the middle. It makes it the most important topic this week for you. And you have the cow, which means you have to be in your, in your calmness and in your femininity, even if you are, should you be a bloke, um, there's a lot of femininity inside all gentlemen too. There can be, there is a nurturing side to, to, to us blokes. <laughs> it's just a matter of finding it, so to speak. So for Taurus, it's important this week um, to be in this nurturing space. And you have the swan, which is a water bird that needs to be waterproof, which can take them three weeks, but you have the fully grown swan. So what that means is you, you, you're more than capable of um, handling any situation that life uh, brings you. Plus, um, the swan is quite a, an animal that, that people like. So what that means is a lot of people actually like the fact that you express your truth. Uh, it's just really important this, this week to actually seek out um, family members and, and closer friends with whom you feel you're not getting on at this point in time or with whom you feel uh, a conversation is probably overdue. It all has to do with, with how you approach that. There can't be any forcefulness. It has to sort of lend itself to it, um, which could be quite uh, difficult at, at times uh, because, you know, when you talk about stuff that isn't quite right, uh, obviously people are not necessarily that open to it. Um, but again, uh, if you, if you, if you um, say things from a hard point of view, you will be fine. It's just because you have three cards and, and uh, all the other uh, star signs so far only had two. The, the guides obviously wanted to highlight that this week is a really important week to talk and converse with family members and close friends and, and begin the healing process. That's the other really important thing about this um, Especially with when you have the cow, it's all about it's all about um, healing. Um, there's a lot of healing energy in in cows, and um, so that's one of the things to, to begin the healing by having by having conversations that are important and probably long overdue. Okay, that was Taurus moving into Gemini. Okay, Gemini. <laughs> very likely, you won't you won't be bothered by anything this week. You have you have the you have the the, the, the cat and you have the eagle, um, and both of them are quite wild in their approach to life and quite um, independent, as it were. So this week is actually quite a good week for you to probably uh, have conversations with people in 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 nature. Or, or in outdoor space or in any space that offers that offers real space. It's quite important for you to be not bugged down by, by anything. Um, that's actually the main message and the only message for, for, for Gemini this week. It's not to run free and to not bother, if that makes sense. But um, you will probably not be interested um, in long conversations this week. Um, yet the overall topic still was, was reconciliation and um, you could you could at least start it if that makes sense, right? Um, gently and, and uh, um, you know start conversations and um, and see when when you want to follow that up if that makes sense, right? Okay, that's Gemini moving into Cancer. Let's see what the Cancerians have got. For the Cancerians this week, it's important to realize that you are quite free. So if you feel um, that someone is controlling or you feel back down, you have to really put a stop to this. It's important that you feel your freedom this week. You also have the leopard, which has unique dots. So this week, anyone in your immediate circle of friends um, or in a wider sense, even people that you work with and the likes, need to allow you, yourself, um, that freedom. If they don't, you have to claim that freedom. So this is a week where, where you should be as individual as you truly are. And maybe express it, you know, 
it's really important to express it because you have the, the butterfly and, and the leopard, so they're not they're not aggressive cards. They're not cards that 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 would suggest that you have to fight for things. But you still have to be assertive and let people know that it's just not acceptable should they um, be in any shape or form controlling. Okay, so that was the Cancerians moving into Leo now. Let's draw on to the other deck. I know that the Leos last week had a, a low energy. I really do hope that this energy is, is going to be easier this week. And indeed it is. You have the Dancer of Beginnings and the Ancestor of Tribes. So you're, you're, you're moving out of the low energy that, that, that was uh, present uh, last week. Especially this week after the, after the fifth, things will be easier anyway. So, so this is a good week to actually, um, because it is Dancer of Beginnings, which means you will be very lighthearted in your way of approaching people that you probably um, are in inverted brackets at odds with. It's quite important uh, um, to, to, to realize that if you are lighthearted in your approach, you can have quite deep, serious uh, uh, conversations, but they can still be lighthearted in tone. And you have the ancestor of tribes, which means there's loads of, of guides around you. And you belong to a much bigger tribe than you are, than you are aware. So, so this week would be a good week for you Leos to watch out um, if feathers fall in front of you, if you're drawn to a specific crystal, if you, um, if you have a pendulum or want a pendulum, if, if this is a good way of cleansing the space. So, so this week, um, using spiritual tools, um, would also allow you to have quite a bit of um, um, higher energy in your in your life, right? That's Leo, and now we're moving into the final star sign of today, which is Virgo. And just uh, as a reminder, there will not be a video for next week because I'm in Germany. My sister actually gets married, and I'm the best man, so I have to wear a suit. I haven't worn a suit in five years. <laughs> Don't even know how it looks uh, uh, on me, really. Doesn't really matter. It's just just so you know. So next week there won't be a video. The week after. There should be a, a, a normal video. Going into Virgo now. For the Virgos this week, it's important to remember no matter what life brings, you have little problem or almost no problem um, dealing with it this week. It's quite important. What will come up for Virgo this week? And I'm not sure that this is just about um, the family situation. Sometimes when you have an overall energy, that doesn't mean it, it, it presents itself for all star signs or for all people therein, if that makes sense. Um, but in your case, it's important to realize this week that um, no matter what happens this week, you will be very, very well equipped to handle yourself. Um, the other important thing is to um, use this week to resolve issues and then really allow yourself to get your personal space back. So for, for Virgo it's quite important the conversations this week um, ought to revolve around your personal space and um, the right that you have to live your life uh, the way you want to live it. And that's all we have time for, and I see you in uh, two weeks. Until then, bye-bye.